I recently made a video about the largest mountain range on Earth, where I talked about how it's the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, which some of you were not happy with and told me I should talk about mountains at Earth's surface, even though oceanic crust is at Earth's surface. But anyway, I did have some commenters that asked a very intriguing question, and that is, what about the largest mountain range ever on Earth? So throughout all of Earth's history. So of course I had to make a follow-up video, and that's what we're doing today. We're going to explore the largest mountain ranges in geologic history, including both those under the sea and those on continents, because I know some of you will be mad at me if I don't talk about the land mountains, so we will do that in this video as well. First though, we will start with the mid-ocean ridges. Today, the global mid-ocean ridge system stretches for over 65,000 kilometers, wrapping all the way around Earth, and the mid-Atlantic Ridge, which we covered in that previous video, is just one segment of this massive chain. The Mid-Ocean Ridge System has probably technically been the largest continuous mountain range on Earth for nearly 3 billion years, essentially since the beginning of plate tectonics and thus mid-ocean ridges. And when supercontinents like Rodinia around 1 billion years ago or Pangaea around 300 to 250 million years ago began to break up, their splitting spawned even longer or potentially even longer ridge systems than today. The combined ridge length back then may have actually exceeded what we see today. But it's hard to get an exact length of what the ridge system was back then given the multiple possible reconstructions and reconfigurations of how the continent and the plates were looking at the time these things were breaking up. But in any case, if you're just going for sheer length in the title of largest mountain range in Earth's history, then that title certainly goes to the global mid-ocean ridge system and or segments of this system like today's mid-Atlantic ridge. But what about the largest continental mountain ranges? For this, let's look at times when continental plates smashed into each other to form supercontinents instead of when they were breaking apart. For example, when the supercontinent Rodinia assembled around 1.1 billion years ago, nearly every continent on Earth collided in a gigantic global mountain building event called the Grenville Orogeny. This was a huge belt of mountains potentially stretching over 10,000 kilometers through what's now North America, South America, Africa, Greenland, and beyond. Some reconstructions suggest that these mountains could have even rivaled the Himalayas in terms of height, rising around 8 to 10 kilometers above sea level. But if we fast forward to around 300 million years ago during the assembly of Pangaea, the most recent supercontinent, North America, South America, Africa, and Europe collided forming the central Pangaean mountains. This chain was enormous, stretching from the present day Appalachians in the US through the Atlas Mountains in Africa, the Scottish Highlands, and even up into Scandinavia and Greenland. Geologists think these mountains may have also been just as high as the Himalayas or even higher. And now they're only much lower in elevation than most other modern mountains due to the millions of years of erosion that they've endured. But the formation of supercontinents like Rodinia and Pangaea aren't the only instances in Earth's history when huge continental mountains have formed. A few honorable mentions include the Trans-Hudson origin, which formed around 1.8 billion years ago, stitching together the Canadian Shield, the Svecovinian, and Lapland Kola orogenies, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, in Scandinavia between around 1.8 to 2 billion years ago, and the East African orogeny around 650 million years ago, which helped build the supercontinent Gondwana. These mountain building events are all part of Earth's never ending cycle of supercontinent formation and separation. And by studying these ancient mountain systems, we learn how Earth's continents have drifted, collided, and split apart over billions of years how this mountain building cycle affects global climate, how Earth's changing geography and topography has affected biological evolution and life, and what the formation of a future supercontinent could mean for us and our future. And if you want to dive deeper into how we study plate tectonics, stress and strain, mantle convection, heat flow, and how we visualize and interpret these data, then I know you'll love the amazing sponsor of today's video. Brilliant. Brilliant is an online learning platform with thousands of interactive courses on scientific thinking, data visualization, physics, math, programming, AI, and more. 
Instead of just passively watching a video, you actually get to interact with the data, solve problems step by step, and accumulate points as you go. It's like learning through gameplay. And I've really enjoyed some of the new courses they've added recently. I mean, if you just scroll through, there's so many courses. There's really something for everybody, which is one of the things I love about Brilliant. I love having lots of options. <laughs> one thing I've been diving into a little deeper lately on their platform has been AI. I don't know much about it, so learning through their interactive of courses has been super helpful for me to learn more about it and what it means for the future of my own profession and teaching and how I can utilize it in classrooms and things. So to check it out for yourself, click the link in the description box, scan the QR code on the screen, or go to brilliant.org slash geogirl to get started for free and get 20% off the premium annual subscription, which gives you unlimited daily access to everything Brilliant has to offer. So again, that's brilliant.org slash geogirl. And once you try it out, let me know in the comments below what your favorite course is. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.